Hey everyone, Travis here with Coyote Moon. I'm the owner and operator of the Squarespace web design studio. I am creating this video today to share with you a cool way to view your website while you're designing it on tablet. Squarespace has a bit of a gap with displaying your site on mobile and desktop. So there's an editor for both, uh, but there's a little gap between the tablet views. So I am going to share with you a Chrome plugin from Chris, I'm probably going to botch his name, but Chris Schwartz Edmiston has created a Chrome plugin that's free. Just type in fix fluid engines in between spacing issue and you will see the Chrome plugin pull up, add it to your desktop, click on the plugin, and then you're able to toggle between both desktop and tablet. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on in. So as we see here, we're in the back end of a Squarespace website. This is obviously an example website, but I wanted to show you how this editor works. So I'm going to go up and enable the extension. So when we click the extension from our toolbar, we will see fixed fluid engines in between screen size spacing issues. So you can enable and disable this extension. Enabling the extension is basically going to pop up a 750 pixel wide version of your Squarespace website so that you can see how it will display and function and react on tablet. So let's go ahead and do that. Enable extension. So now when we see in the editor, not only do we have the mobile preview in the desktop, uh, but when, when we click the mobile view, mobile actually turns into tablet. So this is awesome, right? Especially for Squarespace designers, DIYers that have just been banging your head against your laptop, wondering why your Squarespace website isn't uh, responding on this specific screen size. So uh, as we can see, Squarespace sort of adds a little bit of extra padding and spacing, which can cause some issues. So this allows you to go in and actually edit that. So as we can see here, um, when I've added this heading, Europe's Blue Heart and the uh, paragraph beneath it, um, the system actually added a few additional lines of spacing. So we're going to go ahead and tighten that up and bring this up um, and likely just make this a little bit more centered. And voila, now you have the ability as a Squarespace designer, as a business owner, as a do-it-yourself Squarespace user, to adjust these settings on tablet. So thank you, Chris Schwartz Edmiston. I will, I will send you a, a personal thank you as well. Uh, but this has been a really powerful and useful tool for me as I'm building out my client websites. So as we scroll down, we can see the same issue happens here on tablet, adding a, a, some additional space. So we just need to come in, grab that, and go ahead and tighten up everything on the page. So that's awesome. So when we click save, we can actually also see how that looks on mobile. So mobile, when the extension is enabled, is actually tablet. So whatever you build, the theory is whatever you build here on that 700 pix 750 pixel screen is going to translate into the smaller uh, phone sizes for mobile as well. But you can click this MP, mobile preview, and see how your site looks on mobile. You can't edit it on mobile because that's our editor here on tablet. So um, if you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Um, I will also leave a link to directly to the Chrome extension and also a link to his website if you want to learn a little bit more about Chris Schwartz Edmiston. Okay, so lastly, if we want to disable, disable the extension, we just go back up into the toolbar uh, Chrome extension and click disable. Awesome. Thanks so much for watching, you guys.